Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at the new VIPs feature in Mail. So Mount Lion Mail has this new feature called VIPs and it allows you to mark certain people that you get email from as VIPs and it shows them in a separate inbox. Let me show you. So to get started with VIPs, you want to add your first VIP. Now, this should be somebody you get email from and you want to make sure you know when you get a new email from them. So the way you do that is in mail, you go to a message that you've received from them. You can go back and look at an old message or just wait till the next time you get one from them. And then you roll your cursor over the area here that has their information. When you do, you can see a little star appears to the left of the name. You can also click on that little arrow there to the right of the name to uh, add it from a drop down menu. But the easiest way to do it is just to click once on that star. And the first time you do that, you'll notice the creation over here of a VIP's mailbox. So the VIP's mailbox is an alternate version of your inbox that includes just the messages from that one email address. And you can actually open it up here and take a look and you'll see the individual names. So if you've got five people that are VIPs, you'll see them all listed there individually. So you can actually focus in on just the email that you've gotten from one VIP. So let's go back to my inbox here and add another one. Let's see, uh, here's a good example. The MacMost newsletter. I want to make sure I know when the newsletter comes in. So I'm going to make the newsletter's email address a VIP here. Now I can see there's two under VIP. And if I click on it here, I can see all the messages from both of those together, or I can focus in on just one or the other. So the obvious use for this is that you can set VIPs up and then use this VIPs mailbox here as the place that you go to to look at your mail. And then every once in a while, you can go back to your regular inbox to see what other email you've received. In addition, you can control notifications based on this. Let's go to Mail Preferences and under General Preferences here, you can see that there is a new message notification setting. And you could set it to be inbox only, only new stuff in your inbox, or VIPs. There's also settings here for only uh, giving you a notification when you get a message from somebody uh, who's in your contact list. But if you set this to VIPs, now you'll just get notifications for when a VIP sends you email. So now we can go to System Preferences and under System Preferences go to the Notifications settings. And under there we can look at the Mail settings for notifications and maybe we can up the, uh, the alert level here by having a full alert that you need to dismiss um, and have it play a sound when you receive the notifications as well. And now the notifications become that much more useful because you're not going to get them with your constant stream of email, only when you get an email message from a VIP. Another thing about VIPs is they are part of iCloud. So if you have two Macs, your MacBook, say, and your iMac, and they're both using the same iCloud account, setting up VIPs on one will make that same email address a VIP on the other. Also, if that person has multiple email addresses in their contact, then all those email addresses become part of VIP. So if they have a Gmail account and a iCloud account, you'll actually be setting both of those to be VIPs because they're both assigned to the same contact. And then in the future with iOS 6, we can expect that the VIP feature will also go across there. So you use the same Apple ID account, iCloud account for your iPad, and you'll have the same VIP set up there. So hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.